Hi Leo and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from September 4th to the 10th. September 4th to the 10th. Wow, this time, you know, passed by very quickly, right? <laughs> time has passed by very quickly. We're already in the month of September. Can you believe it? Anyway, I hope that you had a great summer or winter wherever you are in the uh, in the world. I hope that everything is great there. I, we still have beautiful weather here, even if we're in the month of uh, uh, September. Uh, you know, it's still uh, we still get our uh, hot days. It feel it still feels like summer. <laughs> you know, so I'm very grateful for that. Uh, I really like this new environment where I'm doing my videos. And sometimes when I'm home, I'll do my videos. But I'd like to change as well. Change is always good, and it's important to change things around if you want uh, change. You have to be the one to give the change at first, right? So you have to be the change, right? And um, instead of waiting for change to come to you. So anyway, Leo, anywhere that you have Leo in your chart, <laughs> this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time. If, you're, if the reading resonates, you can claim it. If not, look at your rising, which is your ascendant sign. Your moon is emotions. Venus about love and finances and resources. And for those of you just, uh, following a spiritual path, look at your north node. North Node is very important as well. <clears throat> In the reading, take what's yours and let the rest go. And feel free to swap the energies around if you feel that I'm not talking about you. I just want to mention to everybody out there that if you are looking for a healer or a channeler or a reader <clears throat> as well, the, underneath the description box there is Mark. You have his email address or his website. For those of you that live in Canada or live in Montreal, if you do live in Montreal, and when I have a one-on-one -on -one session in, right in front of me, uh, please contact me on my email address, cosmicmoonchildtarot1111 at gmail.com. It's underneath the video. It's underneath the description box below with other updates that you should always be looking at. Okay, so we're going to do the Celtic cross. <clears throat> we're going to do the Celtic cross. We're going to look at your situation, what's crossing you as your challenge. Um, we're going to look at um, also... Uh, your immediate future what is hidden from you and the outcome and then i will clarify the cards and then after that i will uh, of course uh sorry i'm just rearranging the cards here then we're going to clarify and then i'm going to show you what the universe wants you to know all right so let's get started first we'll shuffle the cards for leo my lioness and my lions Let's get started with your reading. From September 4th to 10th. Is the five, the first card out is the Five of Swords. So there could be mistakes here to be, that has been done or a lot of melodrama. <clears throat> you're reassessing a lot of this time. There could be senses of like where you're looking at uh, your situation. I don't know what your situation at this time is, but whatever it is, if it's work, love, whatever, with <coughs> in your environment. Just hold on a second. Yeah, there's something here that you're looking at. <clears throat> you're reassessing. <coughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> Feel some of you are not communicating what you want to communicate. Okay. There could have been sabotage energy here in the terms of how you thought about a situation or there could have been people not having your back. Whatever the case here, <clears throat> you're reassessing. And what is your challenge? Is the five of pentacles. So right away is that you got the five, five. Okay, there's lack, there's worry. Okay, you have assistance here if you really need it. Uh, feeling left out, abandoned, or ghosted. So you're going through changes at this time. So you're reassessing everything. It's time to reflect. In the core, in your situation, you got the Eight of Water. So you're walking away from something here. Okay, you're searching for the Nine of Cups, for the Ten of Cups of what makes you happy here. 
okay, and what makes you fulfilled. So by searching, you are walking away from a, a situation. It could be a pattern. It could be the way you're thinking about things. It could be many things here. In the recent past till now, you got the Knight of Water. And this talks about, there could have been some, uh, uh, it's uh, about opening your heart. It could have been a romance, something uh, emotional that came in here with the Knight of Water. Okay, definitely there was some type of energy of uh, someone wanting to show you love. Okay. In your uh, strength, you got the moon card, which uh, right now we are very close to the super full moon in Pisces. So <clears throat> make sure that uh, you, uh, you know, um, uh, know that there will be a lot of revelations taking place in dreams and visions. Okay. Those are symbols for you. So there, this could be about illusion at this time. There can be some type of revelation here. There could be fear based energy around this. And maybe some of you might feel that you have a blocked uh, blocked uh, intuition at this time but the moon also brings in completions and it brings in as well blessings okay so it's very important to reflect in the immediate future you got the high priestess it's about your intuition you have it's about being patient here it's about trusting yourself and there's a lot of wisdom in the you position you got the nine of wands okay so there, you know uh, you're resilient in the situation here you've been determined to move forward in the situation You've been tested. You've been getting tested. You're exhausted here, but you're still moving on, right? In a situation, or you could be blocking something, as well. You're reassessing something here, okay? There, I do feel like there could be resistance. Well, we have to see. In what you're not seeing around in your environment is the Queen of Earth. You've been nurturing yourself, okay? Uh, very much. There's, a, there's, a, you know, it's a, you're capable of anything that comes your way. You're very practical as well. And gracious okay but definitely here it talks about where uh there is also being grounded at this time you've been nurturing yourself there's prosperity okay in the hopes and fears you got the three of air there's sorrow maybe there's a uh, healing that's been taking place it's a time to forgive forgive yourself forgive others or forgive the situation here there is grief, sorrow, or whatever this is. There is something that took place here with the Five of Pentacles and the Five of, of Earth. And in the outcome, you got the Fool. There's a new beginning. Okay, it's about believing. There's a taking a leap of faith, and you are protected as you take this f step forward. In the overall, you got the Seven of Pentacles, and you also got the Page of Air underneath the card, uh, underneath the deck, which talks about. Uh, someone that's going to be coming in or maybe you have to speak up uh, there's about some type of truth here because uh, I also feel that someone here is over analyzing and there's a lot of choices and maybe there could also be procrastination in a situation here and whatever this is here you've been you manifested something definitely you manifested something here and there's a renewal that's going to be taking place but you need to reflect first so this is about self-evaluation reflection Whatever it is, you're going through a rebirth, okay? So you have to give yourself time. A lot of you are very independent as well, okay? With the Seven of Pentacles, it's about investment maybe or whatever it is that you put a lot of work or energy in. It's about having patience because something is going to pay off here. But I, let's, uh, you know, let's uh, you know, uh, but you're at crossroads, okay? So let's see what's going on for you, Leo. Sorry about that. I'm just uh, fixing my deck. All right. Let's clarify. We're going to shuffle the cards first. Let's look at the Seven of Pentacles in the overall. here why is the seven kind of clothes here for Leo okay let's look at the seven of Pentacles the 
Seven of Pentacles here for Leo. You got the Tower. Judgment. Eight of Wands. Wow, something in your environment is moving up. So, okay, whatever it is, your investment, whatever you're assessing here and been having patience to pay off, something is coming in. The Tower is coming in. There's a judgment coming in. And things are going to get starting to get aligned. Maybe they have been already. There's going to be a lot of swiftness. You're going to be busy here, swiftness. And things are getting aligned. A lot of messages are coming in. All right. It's very beautiful in energy. So the tower is coming in to shift something for you. Let's look at the five of swords. As you're reassessing here. Let's see what you're reassessing. The ten of cups. Your happiness. Love. A soulmate you were dealing with the high priestess the emperor the king of wands here you are it doesn't matter if you're female or male this is the energy of card of the card you're taking charge here you're taking control well, not taking charge you're taking action there's a bigger picture here okay it's about being bold being different okay going after what you want here okay definitely okay because there was some type of interference before in the past i feel but something here got uh, the cycle had to had to go through. You had to go through the cycle. You had to hit the bottom to reach the top. You have to hit the bottom, and most people have to do that because the sun is shining on this. Okay, for you. All right. So definitely here, whatever it is that you're assessing, it's about trusting your intuition. Here, you're taking a look at everything. Okay, this is about taking action. It's about you taking action towards this ten of cups, whatever this ten of cups. Okay, and again, <clears throat> okay, you have a lot of wisdom. You've been patient waiting for the right time something about waiting for the right time okay and taking action towards that whatever this means for you with the ten of cups for some of you this could be love for those of you it's about happiness oh we're having a spring uh, summer shower <laughs> Just, oh, i like that i hope i see a rainbow look at that if i see a rainbow in your reading leo i'm gonna take a picture and then somehow i'm gonna show it to you in the next reading uh, if a rainbow comes through, okay, because it's raining while the sun is shining. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's about trusting yourself, and it's a right. It's about the right time, right? Because it's about being patient here, okay. And uh, yeah, it's very nice. So the happiness could be anything. Could be about just your health. Could be about uh, what, what what makes you happy. What 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 is it that's making you happy? What with the ten of cups, right? Could be anything. Could be a commitment. Could be work. Could be anything here. Yeah. Let's look at the five of earth in your challenge. you got the seven of pentacles, the two of cups, the hierophant, the five of cups reversed. It's reversed. Okay, there's a closure here. You made a closure. You understood something because you got the five, five, five. Okay, so there was changes in terms of your interrelationships or whatever it is that you have to go through. There is a wish that's going to be granted here and there could be messages coming in. Being a crossroads, okay, um, putting to see where how much energy you put into something here. You're really reevaluating everything here with this two of cups. And there is love here. There's definitely love for some of you out there. Okay, there is there's two people coming together here. And this could be long term. Um, could be a marriage down the line also. Could be a marriage or it doesn't have to be just a marriage, but something long term here. And it's about choosing the higher road here in a situation. You're reevaluating something that already there was. You're reevaluating something that there's been a lot of grief and sorrow in. It's almost like a second chance because there could be reconciliation for some of you. For some of you, not all of you, but for some of you, there could be reconciliation here. Okay, if you open your heart to it, because there's fears. There's a lot of fear-based energy here too. Let's look at the eight of water, walking away. Okay, walking away. Why is the Eight of Water here? The Five of Cups reversed. Justice. Three of Pentacles. The Star. There's a wish that's going to be granted here. There's some closure in a situation. Maybe someone walked away from you. You walked away. You're understanding something more in a different, in a different level. And justice is coming in. There's going to be collaboration, teamwork. This is a strong foundation. This is a contract that's coming in for you. It's about, it's about the truth. 
and fairness here, okay? So really nice to see that something is coming into balance. Let's look at the night of water in the recent past till now. The page of pentacles, the seven of cups, the sun. Yeah, there was confusion here. There was confusion because it was very emotional. The situation with the nine of cups, whoever like presented this love to you or someone coming in presenting love or this is you. Uh, there was it, it was very emotional that caused uh, a lot of it. It was so emotional that it caused your emotions to get emotional. <laughs> as simple as that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because uh, it was very dramatic in what took place in the recent past. So it caused the emotions. Okay, whatever this offer came in, whatever if it was an offer coming in for work, love, or forgiveness, here the sun was shining on this, and uh, it was positive in some ways. And there was with the Ace of Wands, it was something new in the recent past year, but it caused your emotions to go all over the place. Because why? In your strength, you got the Moon card. So there was a lot of fear, illusions, uh, or uh, okay, or your intuition uh, was blocked here. Maybe I don't know uh, something in those terms, right? So let's look at this. So let's look at your strength right now. You got the nine of pentacles okay you've been working on yourself you're very independent here okay taking all care of yourself you're very independent you could take a day off there's a lot of gain coming towards you and financial gain as well at this time that you're not seeing right now uh and uh, that's why they're asking you to be patient here because it will be you will be receiving revelations here okay and uh you got the four of pentacles and you got the king of pentacles you just have to uh don't hold back you're holding back. Look who you, you have the King of Pentacles. This is prosperity, victory, success, something stable here. Slow moving, but there's power in this. So why are you holding back? This is your strength. Look at that. You came into your own reading. That's powerful. Look at the yellow and the orange. It's beautiful. Let's look at the High Priestess in the immediate future. If I have, if I find a rainbow in the sky, I will take a picture and post it for you next week uh, in the beginning. Because it's raining and I know when it's raining and it's sunny, usually a rainbow comes in. Let's look at the High Priestess. You've got the Empress, the Three of Cups, the Five of Pentacles shows up again. Seven of Wands. There's a lot of worry here. Okay, uh, you're, you're going to the next level here, okay? And you also got the Queen of Pentacles. So you've got the King and Queen of Pentacles. Again, there's an offer coming in, whatever this offer that is, okay? Better times are coming ahead here. You walked away from something, or someone walked away from you, I don't know. Whatever the case is, some of you are dealing with a mother, it doesn't have to be. But there's new opportunities coming in for you in finances, networking. There's some type of collaboration for you. Um, there's abundance coming in, creativity here, there's socializing, there could be a reunion, whatever it is, there's abundance, okay? And you're, you, you worry. You worry a lot about something here. You're, you're defensive about something here. You're feeling left out, maybe ghosted, uh, feeling that you're lacking something here. You're not. You're not. Okay, because uh, you're going to the next level. You're ending a cycle and going to a new cycle here in the immediate future. And uh, with the Queen of Pentacles, there's stability, there's victory, there's success. You've been nurturing yourself. Like again, you're going to the next level. Very nice to see. Let's look in the position of you with the Nine of Wands. Okay. You're resilient in a situation here. You're tired, you're exhausted. So let's look at this Nine of Wands. Why is this Nine of Wands here? You've got the Prince of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, whatever it is. Some of you, it's Saturn that you're dealing with. For some of you, um, there could be someone toxic around you as well. Okay. Um, there could be conflict in a the situation. There's a lot of conflict here. Someone that's taking, uh, that uh, could be blocking a situation to come through. Or this is about the material world. Okay, with Saturn, it doesn't have to be just a toxic energy. Whatever it is, there's a, um, 
It's in divine timing. There could be positive messages here towards a situation. You've been putting a lot of energy into something in your work. Whatever it is that you've been putting a lot of energy, there's uh, where you've been prudent, okay? Uh, there will be wealth with the Ten of Pentacles. This is long-term. There's a legacy, inheritance. Uh, it could be a project you're working on. Whatever it is here, uh, it could also be a relationship as well. I don't know, but it's long-term. But someone here is not, is, um, is, I feel someone's blocking it. There's like, I feel block, blockage energy around that. So it almost feels like someone doesn't want to take no for an answer. That's what it feels like. Let's look at the queen of earth in what you're not seeing at this time in your environment around your energy field. You've got the king of cups, the seven of swords, the four of cups. That's someone that's very reserved in energy, someone that's bringing in the cup, but someone here is rejecting it. Let me, okay. Uh, why is the seven of swords here? Please show me why the seven of swords is here. You're keeping quiet about it. Why is it? Why is the seven of swords here? Four ones. Page of swords. Chariot. There's completion in the situation here. Why is the four of cups here? Give me another card for the four of cups. Six of ones. The lovers. Someone here is being pulled in two different directions. So someone here is trying to bring balance into a situation. This is someone, for some of you, this is someone from the past. Could be a soulmate energy here, definitely. You came into your own reading again. Someone's keeping quiet about something here, okay, coming in. Someone here is uh, emotionally available. They are reserved, but there is love and there is stability here. But they're keeping quiet about something. Mostly their feelings of rejection. If there was a lot, let's say you've been rejected and you are the one that got abused, like in the situation, like, you know, people mistreating you and stuff like that. Um, you're carrying a lot of that. Like, you're carrying a lot of that pain. But in these type of cards here, okay, with the four cups, usually the four cups feels like you're, you don't want this offer coming. You don't like, you don't want this offer from the past or whatever it is. Okay. Um, whatever this means. Okay. For you. But with these cards, it shows me that you are aware and that someone here is really looking at that cup this time, but someone has trust issues. And what is showing me up, what's showing up and I asked for it is that there is completion. This is some type of, uh, Stability in a home, in a business, there could be some type of, uh, there is completion st celebration, right? But there's also like less interference, okay? And it's almost like you're getting a second chance here. There's going to be some type of communication with the Page of Swords, okay? And uh, I see victory and recognition in this. Okay, with the lover's card, it could be a lover, a friend, whatever it is, there's a choice to be made here. And uh, change is coming and someone is trying to bring something into balance, but they're also very busy here whatever it is here they're juggling juggling with your emotions juggling with something work whatever it is here someone here is taking charge taking their power back and moving forward so someone like i don't know it's an if it's like it either or because there's a choice to be made or you take it or you don't and if you don't take it you're going to take charge and move forward from it some of you are going towards this uh, this type of energy as well it all depends. This is your inner strength because some of you want peace in a situation. You want peace, but there's a lot of patterns here. Whether you have patterns, they have patterns. Okay, there's a lot of patterns in this situation. There was a lot of conflict in this situation. There was a lot of drama. And it took you a lot of strength to get where you are. Okay, but it all depends what you want to do here. There's free will. So let's look at the Three of Swords in the Hopes and Fears. Okay, there is sorrow here. There's healing. Are you going to forgive? Forgive the situation. Forgive yourself. You got the Nine of Cups. There's a wish fulfillment that you want here. You want to be happy. The Three of Swords. Yes, there's sorrow in this. Two of Wands. Okay. Um, you're making plans here as you're moving along, but you're still at crossroads because of the, the pain. Someone here, I don't know if this is you, Leo, or someone that you're dealing with here, but someone here has to heal 
okay? And they are taking time to heal with the Four of Swords. Yeah, they want to choose. After a time of break, after they've been healing or isolating themselves to gain clarity, they want healing, temperance, okay? They want healing. It's about compromise maybe or just um, self-control in a situation. It's about moderation, patience. So you're dealing with a Pisces or a Pisces in your chart. Whatever it is here, there's a lot of fear-based energy in this and not knowing at this time. Okay, so it's important to take time out in the hopes and fears to reflect and go deeper into your healing and to your understanding. Because all of you are waiting for something to come in. And waiting is not good. Let's look at the dreamer, which is the fool. Okay, in your outcome, there's a, it's about taking a leap of faith here and believing you are being protected by the angels here, 100%. So let's look at this in the outcome. Prince of Wands, again. Death and Rebirth. The Queen of Cups. There's the King and Queen of Cups. There is two people that love each other. Uh, and with the Six of Cups. It's about healing and moving on. It's going to take you a lot of inner strength, strength but there is going to be peace in the situation. I do see that will be peace. There will be pleasure. Okay, definitely. And there's love here. Someone here is going through a death and rebirth. There's a huge transformation coming towards you. In divine timing, it's a new spark of passion that's taking place around you, within you, and it's for you to access that, okay? So let's see what the universe has to say to you. Three of Swords, Four of Swords, Queen of Wands. Yeah, you're going to be okay, right? After this healing, after this uh, heartbreak, uh, from the three you went to the four, a lot of healing is taking place for you. You're isolating yourself. You're, you know, a lot of self-confidence, determination here. Okay, um, creativity coming through. Um, it's like the phoenix rising from the ashes here. And while you're reevaluating everything, right? At this time, seeing how much energy you put into something, wanting it to grow, uh, or wanting something to pay off, you need to have patience here. Because, like I said, there is a judgment, the phoenix rising from the ashes. You've been waiting for better. You've been waiting for something here. Okay, whatever it is here. Better times are coming ahead for you. Restoration and peace, success and victory with judgment. You're doing great. Okay. Um, better times are coming ahead. Take care, Leo. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Bye.